The Heritage Open Days offer us all an opportunity to see a wide variety of homes, gardens, locations throughout Norfolk. I think you'll find this garden I'm about to show you in Scrapby, just north of Great Yarmouth, quite interesting and quite extraordinary. We're going to hang out the washing on the sea and you and me dirty washing on the dear. So Darren, thank you very much for seeing us this afternoon. It really is quite an extraordinary collection you've built up here in your back garden. How did it all start? Um, well, from the age of about four, um, my granddad on my mum's side um, used to sit down with me and we'd watch um, Dad's Army episodes together um, and other sitcoms of the era. For some reason, Dad's Army was the main one that we always used to watch. On my fourth birthday, my granddad um, was kind enough to give me his wartime medals. Um, and then from then on, every time I saw him, he would donate a newspaper or an old Oxo tin or something like that. And the collection just kept growing and growing from then. On the most part, it is down to donations from friends, family, people I don't even know, um, neighbors, all manner of people really have been donating all these marvellous things. Have you been assisted in choosing which would be the right bits? Have you done a lot of research? Has it just been someone's come along and said, oh, I've got a 1940s radio like the one on your left hand side there? It's been a mixture. I mean, I'm always adapting. I mean, for instance, like the furniture, as you mentioned, I've done my research on like how people, um, what furniture people used to have from asking the people themselves. Like, so I've gone to care homes, I've gone to old people's meetings, I've gone to Women's Institute meetings and said, what did you have? And they basically just told me and I've gone out there and hunted for these pieces of um, furniture. And what do you hope to get from the Heritage Open Days and, and the people that are going to come and visit? I hope, um, especially being the centenary of the First World War this year, I hope that people will come here and have a whole new um, view on the war years and see that it weren't all necessarily bad. A lot of good came out of the war, um, or both wars in fact, and also I hope it will bring back a lot of good memories for people that were in the era, um, and hopefully I'll also um, almost bring the war to a whole new generation of people.